Hey guys, I was debating as to whether or not I would film this with my makeup fully done or not, but it's Halloween and that's why I have my nice long hair that I miss and it's all sparkly. I miss long hair. Anyway, never really had it this long actually, but that's why it's the sparkles. <laughs> um, but I thought I would just do my face is what it looks like contour. I think the light's kind of washing me out quite. But I thought I would just do it with my face contoured and there's pictures I'll show throughout as to what it should look like before and after. Now my contouring techniques are a little bit different than other people on YouTube and my blending techniques are from school and what I learned when I was there. So this is a fairly heavy duty contouring techniques like with everything you do not need to do this method every single day but I thought I would film it today in Halloween or Saturday before Halloween because it's okay if I'm a little bit more done up for today <laughs> didn't want to do it before work um, but if you had an event or weddings or pictures this contouring would work well you can use creams or powders I mentioned what I used throughout the video but so the techniques come from school as I've said where my techniques from school and I've taken some from this and some that I've just learned myself. So if you guys want to learn how to contour, keep watching. So for contour I'm going to be using a few different products. My favorite Milani Sunset Duos in Sunset City for the darkest the darkest contour shade. I'm also going to be using in some areas for highlight my Hard Candy Honeymoon Blush. There, I see it better there. Blush and Honeymoon. It's nice because it has a nice kind of pink flush to it. And then also Red Earth and Hot Flush Blush Quad. And I'm not sure if you can get this anymore, but I'm just going to be concentrating on these two shades so I can get a nice kind of highlighter. I can't find any other single one. Anyway, so we're going to be using a few different brushes. My wonderful Eco Tools highlighter and contour brush, as well as a posh flat top brush. Any flat top brush will work. So for starters, you're going to start with our forehead. So I'll just zoom in for the rest of this. I'm going to take the darkest shade, and I'm going to take the blunt brush. I'm going to do four lines. I'm not going to blend any of this in. Okay, one in the middle, one there, one there, one there, one, and we're going to go underneath the chin, here, here, and here, that one's really dark, oops, put one there, if you ever do it too dark, just kind of buff it away before it sits there too long in case you forget that you had put it on too dark. Next we're going to switch, you can do this all with one brush too, I just find it easier. You're going to switch to this one and we're going to stay with the same darker shade. We're going to get underneath our cheekbones, so just about from the corner of your ear here and don't really go past the labial folds like that line there. So you just want to and you probably wouldn't do these this dark, but since it's I'm doing this on Halloween, I can be a little bit more contoured. But I'm just doing this to show you guys what your face will look like after you have all of the blotches on. You can do the sides of your nose, just right. This is the top. We're just going right in the sides. Then you're also going to get your little tip of your nose dark here too. This is what Marilyn Monroe did. She did the tip of her nose. From here, you're going to bring that over onto your eyelids. Kind of right where your crease. And on this side, you're going to flip it up. And so once you get past the crease, you're going to do a nice little flip. Clean off your brush. We're going to go with the pinky shade for contouring that's on your cheek area just because it's more like a natural flush. And you're going to apply it right on the top 
of your cheekbone where uh, you've seen me place it many times. So we're going right there. And then we're gonna go to our less pink kit. And you're going to lighten up kind of all this area on your face. So you're gonna go straight down from your tear duct. And then from the corner of your eye, you're gonna come over. So it's just kind of like a triangle, just down to the bottom of your nose. I'm trying to get this to show up on camera, but just using my finger, see if it will show up better. And we're gonna go right down the center of your nose. Um, and you're gonna put that right in the center of your forehead. You're going to again put them um, Kind of, you know, where the corner of your jaw is, you're going to put highlighter right there. And again, just right on the corner, you can kind of feel where your chin goes in here. You're going to highlight right there. Highlight right in the center. And then you're going to go right around here with the highlighter as well underneath your nose. I also forgot, sorry, I was trying to do this logically, my little bit of bronzer right underneath your lip, or contour right there so it makes it look a little bit thicker. And then you want your pinky color highlighter on your finger, right along the upper lip line and your little cupid's bow. Then your whiter highlighter, you're going to apply it underneath your eyebrows. Just kind of where you would naturally put eyeshadow there. This is just a step before. So this is what your face looks like when you have it contoured and it looks ridiculous right now but you just have to blend it I swear. We're going to blend them out and that's the hardest to try and keep the color concentration where you have it but just soften it. So my favorite tool to use is this right. Equal Tools facial brush with came in their facial kit to go. So I just usually like to start at the top and work my way down. So you're just going to kind of go back and forth and blend this in and this is what takes a while so but you just kind of go back and forth. So just kind of blend it, okay? So there's your forehead blended. Cheekbones. Try and go up. Don't bring it down too much because you don't want that line to be getting in the way of your mouth line because you don't want it to look dirty. So kind of try to brush it back like that. But I know sometimes it's impossible, so don't worry about it. This brush, because it's narrow, you can kind of control where it's going. So now I have cheekbones, now we're going to do the nose. But we'll end it down. It's okay if the whole sides of your nose gets dark, but we want to maintain that highlight in the center. And then your eyes, you can kind of just blend that out. Now I find for the bottom parts of my face it's easier to use a bigger brush. So I'm just going to grab an Equal Tools face, facial brush, kind of squeeze it closer to the end so I have a little bit more control. And really just buff it. Buff it in. And now once you have it all blended, take a big facial brush and just kind of go over everything so you can pat down all the little hairs that you've likely lift it up. So I didn't blend too much of the highlight because you couldn't see it very bluntly but so I know those pictures are likely not super flattering to me but I wanted to do it 
to see if you guys could see the more dimension in your face. And if you can't, I'm sorry for making you look at a very jail-like looking mugshot, but I, it's important to see that where you put the color isn't really what you're going to end up with on your face. It's going to look all blended and dimensional. Now if there's any areas that you want to play up more, just go back and add them. And if you find putting the dark there in your eye, on your side of your nose and into your eye made your corners dark, just take a little highlighter and shove it right. In that little dark area and it will lighten it back up. So I will put a picture on the end of what my makeup looks like at the end but this is Halloween so it's going to be a little bit crazy er I guess than mine normally would be so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it helped and if you have any questions I'm likely have a more detailed description on my blogs. Thanks for watching guys see ya.